I joined eBay on the buyer side and got an understanding of the bigger picture of the business. Because of that, I know the experience of the buyer quite well, and now working on the seller side, I have to say, it's more fun. Relating to sellers and understanding why we are one of the top marketplaces in e-commerce while getting to know this wonderful community has been the best part of the job. Seller Center is a resource for two things, inspiration and information. By the way, my name is Angelina Orabello. I am a marketing manager on the seller team. Let's get into the agenda. We are going to discuss what Seller Center is, what the benefits of using Seller Center are, and how to use Seller Center versus Seller Help. Seller Center has great inspiration to help you start selling and grow your business. Think hub and spoke for resources and information, like shipping, fees, and protections for sellers. You'll also find the latest on promotions, available to you sellers, and many frequently asked questions on how new regulations are affecting e-commerce today. We redesigned Seller Center with you in mind and gathered more information on how to inspire sellers to create the best business for them. We wanted to help guide our sellers to find what matters to you and how to cross promote your listings. Seller Center is regularly updated with new and helpful information for our seller community. For example, we recently launched Authenticity Guaranteed on Jewelry, and you can find all that information on Seller Center. Now I want to get into a demo. This is what Seller Center looks like. This is our homepage. Here's where you'll find that information I mentioned earlier about the authenticity guarantee and how to help you sell with confidence. We also have a spot here for trending topics and ways you can stay in touch. Also, a button here to help you connect with our community. But what I wanna focus on today is our top site map here. I mentioned giving, a, giving our sellers a place to get inspired to sell. You can find all that information here. What to sell, how to sell, payments and earnings, and how to set up your store. If you're looking about how to grow your business, you can come to our growth tab and you can find out information on our partner network, going global, and how to promote your listings. We know that shipping is very important to our sellers, so we have a, a tab here where you can get information on how to ship all of your items to customers. Here you can find information on protections you as a seller have, and on payments and fees, you can see everything you need to know about payments and fees that you might incur as a seller. I wanna talk a little bit about some of the resources that we have for our sellers here. Here you can find some information on the new US inform laws. We have an FAQ for that. Changes to eBay and your 1099K form. We also have information here for seller events. Here's another direct link to our community and things on seller community and updates that Seller Center. To recap, Seller Center is more general. Think news, benefits, and promotions, and your connection to the community. For Seller Help, this is gonna be something that's a little bit more specific. Overall, we've designed the seller experience to be self-serving, but should you need additional help, we hope that you utilize Seller Center to get connected with either our community of sellers or our customer service team. Here's a screenshot of seller help. And here you'll find a search function, quick FAQs. Here, if you scroll down, you'll see, uh, you'll be able to browse help articles and get answers quickly. And here, if you need additional help, we have a contact button. This will get you directly linked to our customer service team, or you can also ask our community to get connected to sellers just like you. Some key takeaways that we hope you walk away with from this is that we designed a resource to help inspire you to grow your business on eBay, a place for information on trending topics and regulations happening within commerce. Ultimately, we want to help you feel close and connected to the amazing community of sellers on our platform. And now we're gonna get into a deep dive of our seller hub. So I joined eBay early during the pandemic as a product manager in seller experience team. 
One of the most important thing as a product manager is to learn from your sellers how they sell on eBay. I did a lot of virtual seller interviews, but last year I got to attend Boss Reseller Remix event in Las Vegas in person. I got to meet hundreds of sellers and it was an amazing experience. The biggest thing that I learned is that as a seller, you need more time sourcing your inventory, be it going to a garage sale, going to a thrift store, or going to a storage locker sale, or be it driving to a Goodwill in your city or the next. My point is that you need more time to get your inventory rather than sitting in front of computer all day trying to sell that inventory. And that brings me to my main message today, how you can use Seller Hub as you're growing your business or as you go full time. Hi everyone, my name is Amit, and today I'll walk you through how you can optimize your selling activities using Seller Hub. So we'll look into how you can use Seller Hub to get a snapshot of your business on eBay. We'll also look into how you can review, we'll also review new and advanced listing and order management features. As you're growing your business, it is important to see like how you can manage your high volume business using Seller Hub reports features on eBay. And another important thing to know is how you can use your set, like your sales and your traffic data to optimize your business on eBay. Let's see how Seller Hub can help you accomplish all this. Click on My eBay and then Selling. You will land on Seller Hub Overview page. Seller Hub Overview gives you an overview of your business on eBay. It tells you the most important tasks you need to perform on eBay, like fulfilling your awaiting shipment orders, any order that's overdue or that needs to be shipped within the next 24 hours. It tells you the unread messages from your buyers that you need to respond to and also any offer that you should respond to. It also gives you a summary of your sales over the last 31 days on eBay, gives you a summary of your traffic, like how many impressions your listing received, what is the click-through rate, also tells you, gives you a seller dashboard. It also gives you a summary of your feedback over the last 30 days on eBay and any promotional offers that we have for you. We understand that every seller is unique and you have your own way of managing your business. So Seller Hub Overview can be customized as, for, as per your needs. You can click on plus here or you can click on customize here to customize the page. You can pick and choose the modules that you want to see. You can also drag the positioning of these modules. Once you are done, click on I'm done. Now the next Thing, let's say you want to do is fulfill your awaiting shipment orders to get them ready to ship. So click on print labels and ship. You will land on Seller Hub orders page uh, in the on the awaiting shipment section. So you can fulfill your orders one by one or you can click here, select multiple orders and click on ship and purchase shipping label for all the orders that are awaiting shipment. Once you are done with that, before you ship your package, you might want to print packing slip. So you can click here, you will see this. Uh, here you can see a preview of your packing slip. You can click on customize here to customize your packing slip. So you can select if let's say a buyer told you that it's a gift, you can select this is a gift. Uh, and if you select this option, we won't include the cost breakdown in the packing slip. You can include your listing photo, a thank you note for your buyer. And let's say if you have a store, we have an option to add a store logo or a URL or a QR code link to your packing slip. This way, a buyer can scan it, land on your store and buy items directly from your eBay stores. This is a good way to build brand loyalty on eBay. Apart from this, we also have few other documents for you. Order receipt, address label, pick list. Pick list is something that you might want to use if you are picking multiple items from your warehouse. It has all the details to pick that. Other bulk actions that are supported are 
archiving it, marking as payment received, say for a local pickup order, download selected. You can download selected orders from here or by clicking the link here on the right. Uh, this will download all the selected orders in an Excel file. So if someone wants like likes to use Excel and want to take care of the orders uh, not on eBay like using Excel file then you can use this feature to do that you'll also see the repeat buyer indicator next to the buyer name here right so this tells me that the buyer bought like based on last two years of data this buyer made a purchase from me more than once so anyone who want to engage your repeat buyer to improve your customer retention so that they can come and buy from you again and again you might want to send them a coupon let's say right a special coupon for a repeat buyer compared to a coupon for a buyer who bought from you for the first time so you can click on send coupon and send a coupon to your buyer from here now we understand that as a professional buyer you are on the move all the time, right? So we are constantly working on improving our eBay app. And if you see here, we have recently launched an improved native on our app order details page. So go ahead and check it out when you get time. So let's say now that you have taken care of all your orders on eBay, uh, you want to look at your listings, right? All the listings that are active, what can you do to sell them faster? So you can go to the listings, Seller Hub listings page, gives you a summary of all your listings on eBay, like what is the total price of, the, of that, like how many active listings do you have? You can see here, there are a lot of quick filters, so you can filter by like if you only want to see your orders that are eligible for send offers or promoted listing, you can do by clicking here. The other bulk actions, there are a lot of bulk actions that you can take on your listings as well, similar to your orders to like, yeah, to make it more efficient for you when you're managing your listings. So here you will see that uh, with every listing, there is an action, right? Like, uh, so sometimes let's say if a buyer has a question for you, your primary action will be responding to questions. And also like there, will be, there are multiple other actions that are available to you. So let's say you want to edit all your listings in bulk. You can select all the listings you can click on edit selected, or you can even edit all 400 listings at once. Other bulk actions that are there are you can send offers, promote listings, add edit note, and to, if you want to sell your listing faster, you can just click on this sell, sell it faster. It will give you all the promotional actions that are available for your listings, like sending offers, add best offer, if you want to edit best offer, or if you want to add volume pricing. So you can do all this in bulk, saves you time rather than doing it one by one. So let's say you clicked on send offers, right? So you're here, you clicked on send offers, you land on this. So this tells you that out of the 100 orders that you selected, only 24 are eligible for send offers. So you can send offers for these 24 listings, right? Like, and click on send. And let's say you want to promote some listings, right? So instead of like trying to find which listings are eligible, you can always click on this quick filter of promoted listings. Now this will show you only all the listings that are available that you can do a promotion on, right? So you can either do one at a time or maybe only few that you want to promote, maybe some high price item listings, or you can select all, right? Click on promote. And that way you can promote like listings in bulk. Let's say once you have taken care of that, right? You want to add missing or missing required or recommended item specifics, right? Like uh, everyone knows it can take a while to add this. So let's say, let's do it in bulk, right? Like make it more efficient. So you can download from here, right? Like you can download all the missing re required or recommended item specifics. Once you click on download, it will open this model here. You can pick which type of item specifics do you want to add? Maybe you just want to add required ones and not recommended ones, or maybe you want to add both, right? Let's say you want to add both, so you can select those. And 
here you can select up to 50 categories so let's say you select clothing right so it will tell you there are 344 listings in 47 categories so it includes like in 47 all the subcategories as well so you can pick and choose like if you don't want to edit so many listings at once and you're on only want to edit let's say all the dresses right you can only select that only download that so let's say let click on download selected once you have added all the item specifics you can come here click on upload and then it will open a model and you can upload the file and you'll be done updating all the item specifics so now that you know how to uh, fulfill your orders how to take care of all your listings like in bulk let's say as your business is growing sometimes like very high volume like hundreds of listings or taking care of hundreds of orders it's not like easier when you're using a ui right so sell, you can come to seller hub report seller hub reports has features that help you you as you're growing your high volume business right like it helps you take care of it in bulk like really lot of listings a lot of orders at the same time so there are a few features supported here one is download right so let's say you want to download all your orders or listings so you can click on download report you can select let's say I'm a seller and I want to fulfill all my orders uh, that I've got yesterday right so I can click on orders select which type of orders in this case it will be all my awaiting shipment right and the time period I want to do it yesterday right I want to fulfill all my orders from yesterday and click on download so this will download uh, you will see once it's downloaded here and this shows you like all your past downloads right you can even come later at a time and you can download that report uh, so this way you can download reports and uh, take care of your orders or your listings you can also upload right like so let's say here uh, you can get a template you can download a template uh, Let's say you want to uh, create a lot of listings uh, at like using this report functionality, right? You don't want to do it one by one by one. So what you can do is select a template, in this case listings, right? So there are four type of listing templates that are supported. One is you can create new listings, you can create new draft, you can edit price and quantity in your existing listings or relist unsold listings right so in our case let's say you want to create new listings so create new listings which type of file let's say excel sheet and which category do you want to create those listings in right so my case let's say baby like i want to add listings in this category like carriers baby wipe warmers and I'll do a download right so once I download I'll update the file and I'll click on upload template next and once you have added all the listings in those categories you can choose that file and upload and all your listings will be there on eBay now so it's a very fast way to do like add listings like hundreds of listings in the same category or like yeah, in few categories at the same time i'll say uh, you can also schedule reports right so if you're running a big business like uh, large business you don't want to do this manually again and again let's say then we have a uh, the capability to do like schedule report where you can click on schedule reports for your downloads right let's say you 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 at every night right like you uh want to see all the waiting shipments uh orders that you have got right like and every day you want to see all the waiting shipment orders so you want to download it so click on orders again awaiting shipment right what is the frequency of it right do you want to download it daily, hourly, weekly, monthly, right? Like let's say in our case daily. And then what's the runtime? You can select the runtime and when do you want this scheduling to end, right? Let's say every 5 p.m. every day, I want to download all my awaiting shipment orders so that I can take care of it, right? Uh, then you can save it. And this will save, you can always edit or delete 
the any download schedule that you created right but once you set this up it will auto download every day 5 p.m right like until you have set it and date uh, keep on downloading the report now that you know how to run your business on ebay seller hub performance helps you optimize your selling activities on ebay right so in order to optimize how you are selling on ebay you need to know your one of the important thing to know is your sales and your traffic data and i'll give you a few examples of how you can use your sales and traffic data to optimize your business so one like once you come to set up performance page you'll see a summary here right so summary gives you a summary of your sales on ebay um, you saw this data on your overview page as well it also tells you uh, gives you a summary of your selling cost right like how much did it cost you uh, the total sales how much did you pay in taxes how much in ebay fees and net how much did you make right uh, and this is the data for for the month of july 4th to august 3rd and you can see again your seller dashboard here so now if you want to dig deeper into sales data go to the sales here right like sales tab here uh, here you can see a summary you can change the date if you want last 31 days the, like last month last quarter you can change it here uh, and which one do you want to compare it to let's say we want to compare it to like prior months right and generate the report so this report will be generated here you can see your total sales right like how much taxes did you pay again like selling cost 12 like how much percent of your total sales right so this tells you that on ebay the selling cost you paid is 12.3 percent of your total sales i know a lot of people always have question like how much am i paying to ebay like how much am i making so the net sale that you did is six thousand forty dollars in this case and 84 cents what's the quantity did you sell what was the average price of a quantity right uh, it also gives you buyer insights for uh, in our case like for the last 30 days right it tells you like how many buyers 128 buyers and out of this how many are repeat buyers right this metric is important let's say if i'm uh, selling antiques or tires like or tvs like of course like people don't buy tvs like every month right or every other month right they don't uh, maybe even in antique like it's very hard for repeat buyers to come by but if i'm selling clothing right like i'm i'm selling clothes or sneakers like people buy that often so i do want a repeat buyer business right so if your repeat buyers are low then you want to come up with a strategy on how to increase repeat buyer maybe i should give them more coupons right so in each category like you can see here all the categories the sales and percentage of total sales tells you like hey like maybe i'm doing like really low business in a category do i want to be in that category of like uh, is the amount of time i invested let's say in collectibles it's like around five percent do i want to take it to 15 or maybe this is not a business i should focus on and here you can expand all and this gives you an expanded view each category how many repeat buyers are there how many one-time buyers are there right so now you can see category by category how you are doing right like maybe zero repeat buyers in your clothing shoes and accessories section right like why uh, how can you like have more repeat buyers here right it also gives you uh, all sales like a highlight of all sales promoted listing sales right that gives you like how much is the item cost shipping and handling tax and fees over like compared to like prior period so i know it can be overwhelming but just look at this data see how can this help you run your business better right like everyone can look at this data from a different angle it's like see what works for you how, how this data can help you optimize it at the end it will show you your listing inside one by one for each listing how many did you sell via promoted listing how many you have best offers right see what's working for your business right like and what's not so apart from sales data and other things that's really important is traffic right traffic insights how much 
is like traffic are your listings getting right so it tells you the total impression how many page views right like impressions is anything uh where if anyone is searching even if anyone looks like let's say i'm selling a sneaker jordan someone searches for jordan one and someone looks at my listing even in the search results that will count as an impression right how many page views right someone clicked on it they went to my page how many views did my like listing page get right how many did i sell based on it right what was my click through rate if it's too low uh like should i change something in the listing am i missing any information like any pictures what is my picture quality you can go like you can look at it and compare it over the previous time period too right like what change like oh if it's going down did anything change or uh, sometimes it's factors that are out of your control, right? Uh, so again, this gives like, I know it's very detailed, but look at it, right? Like top 20 search slot impressions, like how, how how is it doing like compared to previous period? Like just look at that. Like, did you change any of your processes that would have made it have like that would have impacted this? Because And of course, there can be very macro level seasonality factors to it, but always ask like, did I change any of my process that would have impacted it in a negative way, right? Uh, Again, you can look at the quantity sold, same, right? Like how much did I sell? How much was organic traffic? How much is my promoted listing? In this case, you can see like a lot of promoted listing traffic. That means like promoted listings are working for, in this case, for the seller, right? Like promoted listing is working. Uh, so this also tells you that maybe you are promoting your listings and if the traffic is less, that tells you like maybe like promoted listing, like what's wrong? Like why is it not working for my listings, right? Uh, and then at the end, you will see again, see your active and sold listings. It tells you your change in your top 20 like search slot impressions. Oh, it's going up in this case, which is really good. If it goes down, like why is it going down? Right. So all those questions like we need to see, like how can we improve our listings like impression so that more people are looking at it more like page views, the better we can sell on eBay. Again, here you can look at your sole listings. How did they do? How many impressions did they have compared to listings that are not selling, right? That that might give you an insight. Uh, so I know this is a lot, lot of insights, but do look at it. This will help you optimize your business. Let's do a quick recap. So Seller Hub Overview gives you a snapshot of your business on eBay. Seller Hub also lets you manage your listings your orders, and your business in bulk. We also saw that it is very important to understand your sales and your traffic data to optimize the way you sell on eBay. To summarize, Seller Hub delivers what you need as you're growing your business. It is ideally suited for professional sellers, and it puts all your listing and order management tool along with your insights and selling recommendation in one place for you. Thank you, everyone.